Yo guys, so what is up? It's your boy Alec Loretta back at it again with another video and today guys we are going to be cleaning your hats because baseball hats get very sweaty and you know that white stuff that you get on them? Well, sometimes you just don't want that on there for like games and all that so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that stuff off, pretty much the sweat, and how to clean your hats in general and I have multiple ways for you guys but today we're going to be showing just a couple of them. And yeah guys, so I got two hats that we're gonna be doing today. We have one of them being my practice hat, one of them being another practice hat, but it was my gamer last year. But yeah guys, we're gonna be cleaning these. Let's show the examples of what they look like whenever they're dirty. All right guys, so right here we have two hats. This one is the practice hat for this year. It has just this logo up in the front and like a mesh back to snap back. And then you also have the hats that we wore for games last year. Yeah, this was uh, the game hats and they're pretty nice. So yeah, the examples of what I'm talking about, what we're cleaning is see this white stuff right here all over the hat. We're gonna be cleaning that and then just cleaning like the dirt and all that. And then you also have the insides right here that we're gonna be cleaning and then cleaning all this right here. With this hat, we have this color is supposed to be a little bit lighter. Uh, the logo is supposed to be a little bit lighter. It's supposed to look like that color, the yellows. And yeah, so the white stuff right here. And then you obviously have the inside that's very dirty. We're going to be cleaning all this for you guys today. And I'm going to show you examples and let's get into it. All right, so we're going to be starting off with two ways of cleaning hats and then we're going to end up the video seeing like which way is better. But for right now, these are the two ways that I use. There's many other ways, but for the ways that I like to clean my hats are these ways right here. So we're going to do one way with the rag, water, and then just like laundry detergent and just like rubbing it on the hat. And then you're also going to be doing a way where you can just throw it in the washer and see how well it cleans that. The one that we're going to use the rag and laundry detergent and all that is with this hat right here. And then for the one that we're throwing in the washer is this one right here. Yeah, so we are going to start off with getting the materials that you need for this. So pretty much what I like to do before I start cleaning the hats is just dusting them off with like a brush or something. So I got them right here. That's step one before you do anything. So And then you also have the other items like laundry detergent for the one that we're using with the rag. You have the rag right here and then water. Yeah, starting off with this hat right here, we're going to be cleaning this one first and then cleaning the second one. Yeah, so the hat basically pretty much is just dusting off all the like the excess of dirt and then we'll go ahead and do this hat too while we're at it. So this hat is the one that has a lot of dirt on it because I use this one the most and yeah you can tell how dark the hat is. I mean it's still a little wet from practice. It's kind of gross. But yeah as you can tell the inside of this is very dirty and I really wanted to clean it. Alright so step one is done. Cleaning both hats with a brush to get all the dust off. Alright, so step two, baby, we're going to get the rag and get the water. We're going to dip it in there and start going around the hat with all this and just rubbing it down, rubbing down those white spots, trying to get them off. And same with the inside. We can go ahead and do the inside of this as well. And yeah, we're going to start rubbing it all in water and then we can go ahead and do the laundry detergent after. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like whenever it's all wet and complete. So I got to get that spot right there real quick. So let's get that. Alright, so the bill is done on top. Now we're going to move on to right here around the logo. You as you can tell those white spots, they're not going to be there whenever I get them wet. Alright guys, so as we finish the top of the hat, we're done right here in the front and yeah, it's pretty much all dark and you can tell in the logo it was pretty light before this and yeah, it's wet so it makes the yellow darker and as you can tell the sweat on this one made the yellow darker for over here and yeah, there goes a comparison and then yeah, so we're done with the top, we're going to move on towards the back. So right here, I kind of want to be a little bit careful just because I don't want to rub in the dirt. So what we're going to do is just go light over it. So it looks good, uh, the hat's pretty clean, and I like that. So the top of the hat's pretty good so far, and this is just with water, guys, so we haven't continued with the detergent uh, to clean it, and yeah, so we're gonna go move on to the bottom now. All right, so the bottom is finished, and that white spots are all gone, 
And yeah, so it looks pretty good, the hat so far. We're cleaning it very well. It's not messed up because this is an easy way to clean the hat, so you're not going to mess it up with these. And yeah, so we're going to move on towards the inside to try to clean this now. People like to not do it in the washer because it might mess up their bill. But for me, it doesn't mess up my bill because I only do those two items. I either put two hats in there or just one by itself. Alright guys, so I just now finished the water step in on this hat and yeah, it just makes the hat darker. It cleans the hat because you're getting you're scrubbing all those sweat marks out. The inside looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of dirt, but that's whenever we're gonna use the laundry detergent to help clean it even better. But it's not gonna clean it as much since you're doing it manually unless you like stay on there and just keep scrubbing. But I'm gonna try to do that and for sure get all the dirt off of it. So yeah, right here it just makes the hat darker. It looks good so far. Um yeah, the hat's pretty clean. Just with water. This is just with water, guys. So if you're okay with just being water, you can just go ahead and set this away and let it air dry. You don't want to dry it because you don't want it to make the hat smaller. And what we're going to do with this is get another side of the rag and just dip it in water, pour a little tiny bit of laundry detergent, and just start scrubbing the same spot, same way, and everything. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright guys, so we just now finished using the laundry detergent on the hat and to be honest, this hat looks freaking clean right now. Uh, I cleaned the inside, the dirt is all gone just from me scrubbing it just for a little bit. So if you want to get all that dirt off, all you got to do is just scrub it for a little bit longer than what you have to. We're going to go over it one more time with water so we can get all that laundry detergent off and then we'll continue to let it air dry. Guys, so the hat is officially done with the one that you do manually by scrubbing with laundry detergent, water, and your rag. But right now, all we're going to do, since we're finished, the hat is clean. We'll show it around real quick. The hat looks good. The hat looks good. The sweat marks will be gone once the hat is dry, so don't worry that it won't be gone. We'll show you whenever it's dry, too. But yeah, look at the hat, guys. The inside is all clean. And yeah, what we're going to do with this hat is just set it aside probably on my bed right now and just let it air dry in the back and we're going to go put this in the washer and we're going to show you guys how the washer compares to doing it manually. Yeah, so now we move on towards the washer hat. What I like to do before I put it in the washer is just scrub it with the, the brush to get all that excess of dirt and then on the spots to where you see it's like very dirty, I like to scrub a little bit of laundry detergent on those areas and then let the washer do its work. And yeah, it's gonna pretty much clean the whole hat by itself from the washer. So guys, don't worry about putting your hat in the washer. It's not gonna mess up the bill. There is an item that you can have, like you can have those, it's like a cat thing, you know, like protect it. So you just like put it inside the thing and then close it and then put it in the washer. But for me, like I've always just thrown my hat in there with nothing and then it doesn't mess up the hat at all. So yeah, guys, this is the hat right here. We're gonna go put it in the washer and then we're gonna go get it out whenever it's done and then let it air dry. So now that we are waiting for the hat to be done in the washer, we're just gonna be waiting here. It's gonna take like 30 minutes and then we're gonna be just chill until then and then let them air dry and then show you the final product of what they look like whenever a hat is being washed in the washer and then the hat that's being washed manually. Let's see which one comes out to be cleaner. But yeah, these are two ways that I like to clean my hats. I usually just like to throw them in the washers, but if I wanna like do it like a detail wash it's pretty much it's pretty much just me doing it manually and then doing it in the washer so pretty much doing both of them at the same time so but I wanted to show you guys what it's like to just do a quick wash right here with your hands or just do it with the washer and yeah now we wait guys waiting guys if you haven't watched the 44 Pro glove batting gloves make sure to go check it out guys it's a great video and yeah I get some new batting gloves 
And yeah, let's just erase this off the board just because I completed this video and you guys can go ahead and watch it. So yeah guys, I made a 44 Pro Glove batting glove video and to me, they are very nice. They look like they're gonna be a very great product and that's why I bought them. So you can customize pretty much a lot of it and you should go check out that video just so you can see which ones I get. Uh, I matched the school here at the college and I think I'm going to love them. I'm hoping they compare to like one of those top brand batting gloves like Marucci, Under Armour, Nike, all those gloves that are $40 because these are $40 pair of gloves and with shipping all that ends up being 45 so yeah guys I hope I like them and then they are in the process right now so I have like three more weeks after this or four I don't know how it goes right now but we'll see and I'll keep you guys updated with those and yeah I can't wait for the review on those batting gloves right, guys so I just pulled it out of the washer just brought it over and I just wanted to show you guys what it came out to be you can tell that all of it's pretty much out the colors are looking better. It's going to look darker right now, so it may still look the same, but in person it looks better. But yeah, it's a little wet. Going to let it air dry now, but check out the inside, guys. Remember how dirty it was? We'll look at it now. Spotless, guys. That's what the washer does. We're going to finish it up by letting it air dry. This one's still air drying, and this one's going to air dry right now. And yeah, guys, so we're going to let them air dry, and then once they're done air drying, we'll show them the final product and how they look. But so far, guys, look how amazing they look. I think I wanted to mention how it did not mess up the bill. See how perfect it is still. This is the way I had it before. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's how it looks like. Didn't mess up at all in the washer, so you can put them in the washer, guys, if you wanted to. I could have put this one in the washer, too, but I wanted to show you guys a different way of cleaning them. But these are just two ways on cleaning hats that I have for you guys. Just waiting on the air drying now, guys, and I'm so excited that I cleaned these finally because they needed to be clean. All right, guys, so the air drying is done, and we have them right here. But yeah, the color of this hat is back to normal. It's all clean. You don't see any marks from the sweat. And same with this one, no sweat marks, anything. The inside is very, very clean now. Same with this one. This is the one that I did with the rag, water, and laundry detergent. And then this is the one where I just threw it in the washer and got a little bit of laundry detergent to scrub it in those big parts like right here and all right here. But that's about it. This is the final product of both hats, one manually and one with the washer, guys. It did not mess up the bill on this and nor did this one. Let me know down in the comments, do you like the way I wash this stuff? Let me know. Guys, that does it for the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to comment down below, like this video if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. One other way I wanted to mention about how to clean your hats is just like pretty much shampooing it whenever you go in the shower or something. So wear your hat in the shower and just shampoo it all over and you can do it in the inside. That's one way that works, but to me, the way I like to clean is with laundry detergent. For sure laundry detergent because that's for cleaning and yeah, same with shampoo, but like laundry detergent for hats, clothes and all that. So yeah, it will work. You can tell by looking at these hats from the inside and the outside, they both look very, very well. That does it for the video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Get your ALO merch right now. It'll be down in the description. And if you also want $20 off of Play Crate, if you buy Play Crate, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much a baseball subscription box. And yeah, you get baseball gear out of it, a t-shirt and all that. And yeah, you can get $20 off if you use the promo code ALEC and that'll get you $20 off your first purchase for Play Crate. And yeah, guys, go get you a Play Crate. I have one of those Play Crates already. It's actually up there and I'm going to be starting to use those items. And yeah, guys, it was a very great play crate, and I'm going to be getting those every month to show you guys and review them and all that, guys. And yeah, again, with the ALO merch, make sure to go get your merch because it's fire merch, guys. And yeah, represent the channel, guys. So again, guys, make sure to subscribe right now. It'll be that red button. Like this video if you did. Go watch my previous videos because we have great videos, great content, and all that. And we also have great content coming in the future. And yeah, guys, comment down below any ideas or anything that you guys want. If you have any questions, you can also DM me on all my social media at Alakwada, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, any of those guys, just DM me, I'll respond. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.